Hey guys, so before we get started on our next uh, activity, what we're going to do is just manage some files. Um, when you go to this hide data panel or show data panel, you're opening up that browser we were talking about. And I made a little section called 9T bin. Yours might have a different name, but that's where I host um, this folder, Learn Fusion 360 in 30 days. Okay. So right now this Lego project is not in the Lego folder. So what we're going to do is two finger click if you're using the Mac. We're going to move to Fusion 360 right here. Move. Actually, we're just going to double click. And then day one, Lego, and move. So that puts that Lego in that folder, and it keeps our things really organized. I want us to make sure we're staying organized at all times as we work on this. Okay. So now we're going to begin today's new project, which is a bottle. So to start with our milk bottle, what we're going to do is we need to just do a little special thing here where we say assemble new component. We're basically making one single component and I'm going to set that, call it milk bottle. Okay, this should be activated and empty component. Okay, all right, that sets the stage. And then I'm going to insert our reference file. We go to insert canvas and I'm going to choose this image, the milk bottle, the same image that I gave you, and we're going to put it on this plane because the milk bottle will sit upright. So we often use two-dimensional images as a reference file for our three-dimensional uh, things that we make. So already we got some options here, but what we really want to do is scale this to size. So I'm going to click right here on front and that gives me that front view of the milk bottle. Okay, remember it's flat, so I want to see what it looks like. And what I'm going to do next is I need to scale this to make it the right size. So what I'll do is go to milk bottle, canvases, and right here I'm going to two finger click. Hold on a second, let me press enter first. Okay, now two finger click, calibrate. Now we calibrate because we want this thing to scale to the actual bottle, not to the whole thing, because it's a little bit bigger. The picture is a little bit bigger. So I'm going to go in this bottom corner, click one time, and then this top, like about where it hits the top of here. So click there. And I want this bottle to be, I think, about 240 millimeters. That's 24 centimeters. No, wait, that's a little too big. Let's see. Probably want it to be about about 15. Sorry. So 150 millimeters. Okay. So I'll click enter and it scaled it up to size. All right. So just for reference, go to my home view. There's my size. Okay, let's go back to the two dimensional image. The next thing we need to do is start turning this two dimensional thing into a three dimensional thing. And we can do that with first creating a sketch. We're going to trace the image of this bottle. What's really cool though about this bottle is it is uh, symmetrical. So we really only have to trace half of the bottle. So we're going to sketch and choose this plane of course. And you're going to choose solid line. You can also type L on your keypad. And we're going to Click one time at the top of the bottle, and then we're going to drag this all the way down. We want a straight line through the middle of the bottle, right to the bottom of the bottle. Okay, you can zoom in to get as close to accurate as possible. Okay, all right, and I'm also going to use smaller straight lines to kind of make this curvature. So this is one method for making your curves making curves, which is basically just really small straight lines. So when it's zoomed out, it looks like a curve. So you got to zoom in really tight and it's a little bit, I know it's a little bit tedious, but it takes a little patience. You get in really tight and you start making these straight lines. You can probably hear my dog barking in the background. I apologize. Okay. 
you know, I can start zooming out again. And as you can see, from a distance, it's kind of curved, right? Okay, now I made a little mistake there, and I can let's see if I can fix that. There we go. Okay. Probably going to have to go back and fix that mistake. Let's do this. I'm going to restart this. I'm actually going to have, this is kind of a mistake, so I'm going to restart this whole thing. Okay, so I fast forward through all that, and as you can see, uh, it does take a little bit of patience because if you make a mistake, sometimes you do have to just start over, unfortunately. So I'm going to stop here, and I'm going to go ahead and just press Escape. Don't press Enter, press Escape. Okay, and that still locks in your sketch here. Okay, now from a distance, that could probably be done a little bit better uh, if I'd zoomed in a little bit more. But that's okay, we're just learning right now. I'm gonna zoom in a little bit and I'm gonna do something a little bit different. I'm gonna actually make a good curve. So remember I said that this is one way to make a curve is to make straight lines, zoom in and make straight lines. Another way is to do something called um, splining. Yes, splining. To do that, we're going to go to create and choose point. And we're gonna make points along the curvature here. And we want to try our best to make it equal distance from each other. Now that's not always going to be the case, but it does just look better when you make it equal distance. Okay. Now right around here you got to zoom in and you might need to do a few do a couple special things. Okay. Here. Let's see. There you go. All right. And let's just end it right there. Okay, so I made some points. Now I need to connect those points with a spline. So I'll go to Create, Spline, Fit Spline. I'm going to start here. I click here. And the computer algorithm kind of makes this nice curvature along the lines. Okay. Now I can go back and edit some of these lines. We'll do that in a little bit. See that? Just connect them. I know that's not perfect, but we can fix that one. Okay, and that's connected. Now, when I am done connecting, I'm just going to move my mouse up to here and to that check mark and click it. And there we have it. So let's just take a look at this. Are there any points that just aren't quite right? Well, I can see this one's a little bit off, but that one's not such a big deal. But this one's definitely kind of weird. I don't, I'm not loving that. So, what I'm going to do is just. Uh, I'm going to first press enter. Okay, oops. Yeah, enter. And I'm just going to move this dot in just a little bit. Okay. There we go. And I want to move this one in just a little bit. And that way you can manipulate it to make it a little bit nicer. And I can even move that. So let's just zoom out and see what it looks like. That looks, I think, a little bit better. I could move this in just a tiny bit too, give it a little bit more curve. Okay, great. So now we have straight lines, we have the point and splice method for making curves, or we have the zoom in really tight and make straight lines. Obviously, the one up here looks much better, but both are options. And our final thing we need to do is connect here to here. And when if I did everything right, it should work. I'm going to click on line. Uh oh, yeah. Click and click. And yes, I did it correctly. This whole thing lit up blue. That means it's a closed uh, connection. It's a closed profile is what it's called in Fusion 360. Now I think this is a good point to save my work. So I'm going to go to Command S and save. This is Milk Bottle because I did. I worked really hard on this, right? So I don't want to lose this. All right. Good stop. All right. So here's where things get really fun. We now have this two-dimensional half bottle, and we're basically going to rotate this two-dimensional shape to make a three-dimensional shape. 
there is a, I'm going to go to finish sketch, and there is a button here, not extrude, which we've done before, but revolve. Okay, I'm going to click revolve. I'm going to choose, um, we need to choose a an axis. Now, we're going to have this shape rotate around this middle axis here. So I'm going to click that middle line, and voila, look at that beautiful thing. We now have a three-dimensional shape. We took that two-dimensional reference file and made a milk bottle, essentially. Isn't that beautiful? So one thing uh, we remember from the last lesson as well is that we don't want these really sharp edges at the bottom. Okay, So we want to use this thing called fillet. Let me press OK here. Fillet. So we just put F. We type the word F and Fillet basically takes these sharp edges here, and we can round them off just a little bit. So I'm just going to select that. I can hold Shift and select multiple edges. I don't want really sharp edges. And I think that's good enough. And I want to make that, let's just go give it like a two millimeter fillet. So it's a little bit more rounded on the edge. Because if you were to produce this, you'd have very sharp edges, and you don't want that, you know, cutting people, right? Okay. Let's see. Actually, let's just take a look at it. What would it look like if it were five? Okay. I think that actually might be a little bit better. It's actually five. Okay. So we have this bottle. If we were to 3D print this, that would be fine. But it's not really going to be helpful because we want to store milk in it, right? So we have to hollow it out. So we're going to begin that process of hollowing it out. To do that, we actually need to go into uh, the milk bottle component and go to, remember the origin is the, no, excuse me, the bodies is this whole thing, right? And we're going to click on body, okay? That chooses the entire three-dimensional structure here. And then we're going to use the shell command. So we gotta find shell. Where is shell? Did I forget? Modify, sorry, modify shell. Okay, modify shell. And we want a thickness of say, let's say about five millimeters, I think, about five millimeter thickness there. And press enter. Okay. Now you may notice, well, it doesn't really look any different, does it? Well, that's because we're still looking at it from the outside. So what we'll do is go to Inspect, and we're going to choose this thing called the Section Analysis Tool. So you click right here, okay? And we're going to choose, it's, you see this right here, but we're actually going to choose a specific plane, and we want to choose the, I believe, yeah, we want to cut it in half lengthwise. You see right here how it opens that up? We're going to go to the XZ. There we go. So now we can see the inside of this bottle. Pretty nifty, huh? This next part might seem very minor, but it's actually very important for the rest of this to work. We're going to have to make this top section flat. To do that, we're actually going to go into our timeline and double click on the original sketch of our uh, of our milk bottle profile. Now I'm going to zoom in on this section right at the top. And notice that this is not exactly flat. Okay, it's a little bit off. Yours is probably also just a little bit off to be most most likely. So we're going to have to fix that. To fix that, what we're going to do is we're going to uh, type D on the keypad. That opens up something called dimensions. It's also right here. And we're going to click here and just drag up, click, and we're going to change that to nine millimeters. We want it exactly nine millimeters. Press enter. Okay, that locks that in. All right, sorry. And we're going to go to finish sketch. Okay. Now we're going to go back to it again. All right, and this time we're going to two finger click right here on this line and go to horizontal vertical. We're fixing this horizontal vertical. Now you can see it is exactly to the grid line, and that's what we want. 
and then we'll finish sketching in. And look at that perfect straight line. That's what we want. Our final thing we need to do is actually cut this hole here at the top so we can access the interior of the bottle. To do that, we're going to first type C, and we're actually going to click this top circle here. That's the plane we want to use. Now, the reason we, in the previous section, we made that flat is so we could do this part. Okay, so I'm going to zoom in just a little bit. I want to make a perfect circle. That's the circle I want to cut. Okay, and I'm going to finish the sketch. Okay, so I have this perfect circle. We change the view just a little bit. Um, just going to move this view just in a way that makes it easy for us to see. I'm just going to zoom in just a little bit. Okay, so the way we cut this is actually through an extrude, what we've done before. When we extrude, we just need to change a setting. We're going to change, instead of new body, it's going to be cut. And we're going to cut the extent to an object. The object we're going to cut to, when we under object where it says select, you're actually going to select this small bit right here, if I can. Yes, it is, right there. And what? There we go. And profile, select. Yeah, even Mr. Nichols has issues sometimes. So again, all those settings are, our profile is set to this, um, extent is to object, and it's cutting, okay? And the other, this object is that little section there, all right? Once all that is good, we're going to click OK, and look at that, we got a nice cut. So now we have a hollow, nice hollow, So we're actually done with our bottle. It is completely designed, but it's not really presentable yet. And we want to clean this up so that we can show a potential client our design. What we want to do first is we want to get rid of this cross section. Okay, remember that was under analysis. So if you go under analysis and just take the eyeball off section, we see it as it should be. Okay, we can now see there's a hole inside. And now what we also notice is that reference 2D image is still there. We don't want that. So under the milk bottle component under canvases, we want to get rid of the milk bottle. Okay, milk bottle image. We can also just do it right here. Okay. So this was our first finished product. And let's say we were building an uh we were designing a new bottle for a company, for a milk company. And we wanted to show off our product. Well, we wouldn't want to show them this steel bottle because they're going to want to see a glass bottle, right? So we're going to try something here. Fusion 360 has these options where we can make the, uh, the model look like the material that the finished product will be. All we need to do is select the whole piece and then two finger click on it and choose appearance. Now, Fusion 360 comes preloaded with all these different types of materials. Okay, I'm going to choose glass, clear glass, and what you need to do is click and drag it on top of the object. Okay, close that. So as you can see, now it's clear glass. Now mine's not beautiful because it has these lines, and there's some things that we're going to need to fix in the future, but it would be really cool of you to just take a look at these different appearances because as you improve your designs, and your methods for how you design them, you can really make your, your presentations pop for your client if you choose one of these. Okay, so for example, what if I wanted a gold? Ooh, gold, let's see what that looks like. Oops, I gotta get rid of this one first. And change that to gold. Yeah, cool, huh? So, go ahead and experiment with some of those appearances. And I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. And I have nothing clever to say at the end of this video. Have a great day.